there, it's Dr. Nicole. Today I'm here with some tips on how to help your child drink more water. I was just reading a study yesterday, um, one of the many studies that's come out recently on the problems with kids drinking um, sugar-filled beverages, um, sports drinks and things with lots of sugar, artificial sweeteners, and there's just so much research now that tells us that drinking sugary beverages is not only bad for us in terms of our weight, um, and our physical health, but also has really, really negative effects on our mental health and our brain function. And this can be especially true for kids, drinking sugary things like juices and soda pops and sport drinks and all of that kind of stuff can leave kids feeling a lot more irritable, moody, it can make it harder for them to focus and pay attention, can make them more hyperactive. So lots of reasons why we want to move kids away from drinking sugary kinds of beverages and towards drinking water instead. Water is absolutely the best thing that we want kids drinking. It's the perfect way to hydrate. It supports brain function, supports body health, but lots of kids balk at drinking plain water, right? And if you're a parent, you've probably struggled with figuring out how do I get my kid to drink more water and move away from some of these other things. So I've got some tips for you today. One of them is to add fruit to your child's water, just plain old regular fruit. So I've got, you know, clementine, um, you know, orange here. You can put some orange slices in there. You can cut up strawberries. You can put grapes, kiwis, uh, raspberries, um, whatever kind of fruit you have around that mixes well with water and just cut some slices up and throw it in the water bottle or in their glass of water. And that will add some nice natural flavor to it without nasty other chemicals and ingredients and just make it a little more fun than plain water. So fruit can be a great one. Another way to use fruit and make it a little more fun is to get your ice cube tray and put small cut up pieces of fruit or you know blueberries and raspberries, uh, little orange slices. You can put them in the ice cube tray and then fill it with water and then freeze it in your freezer. And then when you want your child to have a glass of water or a water bottle, they can get those ice cubes out, pick the fruits that they want, and it not only makes their water cold, but it also makes it look more fun and taste a little bit more exciting because it's got the fruit in it and as the ice melts, they can taste that. So you can do fruit ice cubes. Sparkling water is another option. Um, this is great, especially if you have a child who tends to prefer carbonated beverages like soda pop. They may like the um, carbonation, the kind of sparkle on their tongue. You have to be careful with this because there are a lot of carbonated water beverages out there that have a ton of junky ingredients with them. You definitely want to read the ingredient label. You don't want to be doing sparkling waters that are filled with artificial sweeteners or flavors or colors or things like that. I will show you, this is my favorite. This is Spindrift, and Spindrift is a truly all-natural sparkling water beverage. So it's just water, and then it's got the fruit um, puree in it. Um, does not have a lot of sugar at all. This particular one is uh, blackberry. It's got two grams of sugar, um, and there's no artificial or nasty ingredients in it. Um, they taste really good. Kids love them. They come in a ton of flavors. So Spindrift is the one that I personally am recommending most often to families at the clinic that they try that. You can do plain sparkling water, um, seltzer water. Um, there's some other ones on the market too that you can try. So this is a great way to switch over from some of the soda pops and carbonated kinds of beverages. If you have a child who really likes to drink fruit juice, Fruit juice in moderation is not necessarily bad. The problem is that there's a ton of sugar even in the natural fruit juices. And if your child is drinking a six or eight ounce or sometimes even larger glass of that one or more times during the day, that amount of sugar really, really adds up in their diet over the course of the day and the week. So a good way to start to shift them over to water is to dilute the juice. So you can take your glass and you know start out if they're used to having a full cup of juice, maybe pour it three quarters full of juice and then add the rest water. And over time, you can slowly decrease the amount of juice that you're putting in and add more water. And they'll get used to the less sugary taste. They'll get used to more of the watery taste. And then over time, you can just transition them over to water. Or another fun tip is you can just add a splash of juice into a water bottle or a cup of water um, to give a little more flavor or sweetness to it um, if your child likes that. Um, my last tip is to use fun straws or water bottles with kids. 
kids are all about, especially younger kids, um, really like the aesthetic of things. And so if you get a fun water bottle with their favorite characters on it, or maybe it's got a straw that they really like um, with it, there's all kinds of cool water bottles out there now. Um, sometimes it's an easier sell to get kids to drink more water when it's in a cup or a water bottle or a container they really like. I also am a fan of using fun straws with kids and I find not only young kids like this, I have a lot of teenagers who think that um, this is fun. And this is uh, like a curly cue straw that you can get. You can find these at party stores, you can find them at your grocery store, online, lots of places. Um, just makes the drinking process a little bit more fun uh, for kids and more interesting. This is one I found here in the clinic. We must have had this hanging out from um, Halloween. Um, but this is one with dancing skeleton uh, on it. So certainly you can get seasonal straws, all kinds of fun stuff. And again, it just adds a little bit more interest um, and gets kids a little bit more excited about that. So hopefully that gives you some quick tips that you can start to implement um, to shift your child to drinking more water. Water's definitely what we want them doing. If your child is into um, you know, drinking a lot of sugar laden or artificially sweetened beverages, just start making little steps to switch that over. Use some of these tips to start to swap out some of those drinks for water and you'll um, find that that's an easy way to start to transition towards healthier choices. So get your kids drinking lots of water and you too, these can be some tips for you as well. Um, have a great rest of your day. I'll be back soon with more tips.